All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, six losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Sonia And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 19 wins, eight losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Beijing, China, Lee, the Leech King Leon! All right, give the rules in the locker room. I want you to be in my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Big ball from Brooks Land. Now he gets back to range. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Clipped him with the right hand there. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. If this guy doesn't move his head, his night is about to end. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. 
All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. Nice punch here. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows touch to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Ooh, blocks the shot. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Good stick. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Big double leg, double change. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. How good is that right here? Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow? Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that assistance. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like an inner zone. It's like a basketball. He becomes twice his size. This guy today is looking at focus men in his Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Landed that one. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Just misses with that one. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice kick. These guys are going out. Uppercut lands for him. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landed. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw with the first round? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. 
All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Nice leg kick land. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Can't take many of those, you better check. Wow! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Slips to avoid the right. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Nice punch, Lance. And both guys really throwing with a four. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Just missed with that right hand. So a much different approach for him here in this second. No! Moving to half guard, shades of Daniel Cormier slicing through that car. Unbelievable. I love it. Like a knife through butter. What a great job, Pass. Oh, all right. He's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs. Making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon in his mat or if you're going to give your back up where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Right hook to the head. Oh! Looking for that left hand. Out there. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful. Oh! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Trying to stay in this fight. Just missing on the uppercut there. And there comes the separation now. Nice loop and punch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. 
It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it was a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Big head kick land. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. Ooh, what a punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. There he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your point. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight. And it's gotta feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better. To go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp and it goes as desired, nothing feels better. What a punch. Oh, beautiful needle body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Both fighters throwing heat now. Back to the jab now, no good. You don't know when that leg kick is coming. Well done. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Just missed with the left there. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for a That one appeared to stun him. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there. Oh! What a body kick. Combinations here. And we got a fight on our hands. Good right here. Single collar tie now. Oh! Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh! Oh! Oh man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. That was a jab. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, straight right. Just out of range with the big right hand. Able to check the high kick. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Nice punch lands over the top. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Right on the button. Oh, a little single collar tie there. with that attempt. The 
Such a fast leg kick. Fifteen seconds. Oh, big punch land. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to feel. Oh! How about those five minutes? All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition oh, for the huge right hand! Landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves to We'll finish his fight. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been shown tonight. Cat and mouse, you gotta play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit, he does a great job of that. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round four. And they separate. Nice. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He is getting lit up right now, John. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 28 seconds of round number 4. Playing the winner by knockout, Lee the Leech King Leon! Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight. 